Hello everyone, it's Kendra here, Miss Kincaid, and thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Thank you for watching this video. So today I wanna to show you guys how I did my very first flexi rod set on my taper not your hair. So if you guys are interested and you wanna see how I got this fierce look, then definitely keep on watching. All right, you guys, so we're starting off with stretched dry hair. Um, check the description box if you would like a link to the video of how I blow out my hair, including the products that I use to blow out my hair. So I'm going to be using two types of flexi rods, the red ones and the orange ones. And check the description box for a link to these flexi rods as well. And my styler of choice is this Argan Oil Perfect 7 by Cream of Nature. It is one of my faves. You guys have already seen this product before. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take a medium to small section, small to medium section of hair. I'm gonna take my product and I'm going to spray it. And you guys know how I do this. I go from the middle to the ends. I don't put anything on my roots because I want uh, as much length as possible. Um, so I'm going to apply my product. I'm going to smooth my ends. Like watch me, I'm just smoothing my ends for a long time to make sure that they go smoothly onto this flexi rod. Now all I'm doing is wrapping my hair around this flexi rod and then once I get it to the root, I'm just going to, I guess, twist it in so to tighten it, or secure it, fold it in to secure it, whatever you wanna call it. And that's pretty much it, you guys. So I haven't done one of these because I tried it before and yeah, I'm like, what, honey, that wasn't hard at all. <laughs> But I have not tried one of these because I, I attempted it one time and I was like, I can't even get these things to work right. So now, now that I picked them up, I was like, well, let me just go ahead and try it because I've never done one of these on my channel. So yeah, so I decided to try it and to my surprise, honey, it was no problem. So yeah, so I'm just going to continue the same steps. You see me here smoothing the hair out like crazy. Always take care of those ends, you guys. Always make sure those ends are smooth on that rod because you want your ends to come out looking nice and curly and not nice and frizzy. I get a lot of questions. You guys always say, as soon as I take my rods out, it looks like a bunch of frizz. You gotta smooth those ends on there or else your ends aren't healthy and you may need to trim. All right, so I'm just gonna continue to do that on the remaining sections of my hair. Later on in the video, I'm gonna have to use a rod. I'm gonna show you. Um, I had to use a white rod on the side because my sides are kind of growing out. And they're not long enough for a flexi rod, but they're long enough for a rod. And that is the hair that transitions to my coil. So I just added one rod on each side of my head and you guys will see that. And I am done applying all of my flexi rods. Like I told you, I had to add two white rods, perm rods to my hair, where my hair transitions from short to a little bit longer. So now I think I'm ready to go sit under my dryer and let this dry. So you guys, this is definitely not an under an hour style because it has taken my hair quite some time to dry. Um, I don't know why. So I'm assuming that because these flexi rods don't have any air holes or air pockets in them and that my hair is just wrapped tightly around them that, um, that it's taking quite some time to dry. But when I do a rod set, do you see those holes in the rod? That creates airflow. So my hair dries faster with these. So I'm definitely going to do a comparison video between these flexi rods and then my regular rods, my perm rods. I think that would be a great informative video for you guys. What do you think? Forty-five minutes later, and here I am checking to see if my hair is dry, only to find out that I still have one more curl that isn't fully dry, so I had to re-roll it, okay? And I believe it's this curl right here. I had to re-roll it and sit back under the dryer for another 10 minutes. Yes, not happy, not happy at all. So <laughs> I'm gonna go back and sit under the dryer and finish this curl, um, make sure that it um, dries all the way. You guys, you gotta make sure it dries all the way or else you're gonna get a bunch of frizz and you don't want that. guys now that my hair is fully dry I am just going to separate my hair and you guys know how I like to do this I like to separate in small sections so that I can get maximum volume I love a very very curly look so yeah just watch and see how I do this All 
right once I'm done separating I'm just gonna spray my hair down with some argon oil check the description box for a link to this oil and now I'm just going to take my handy dandy pick and I'm gonna raise at the roots um, to shape my hair and to give myself more volume And now I'm just going to take my Gorilla Snot Gel and I'm going to lay my baby hairs down. And you guys, this is the final look, you guys. It was so simple to do and I don't know what took me so long <laughs> to do it, but I truly love the results and it was so easy and you don't need as many flexi rods. Um, to achieve this style so check the description box for all of the products used how many flexi rods I use the brand uh, the the size all of that that will all be in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you truly enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys on my next video bye I got bribes in Atlanta, just to put me in the family Credit cards in the scammers, getting the licks in the family Legacy, family, man, see them like a family Going out like a Montana I, I, I got bribes in Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta.